In the past few years, there has been an explosion of new digital technology with overarching promise of improved value for our patients. Most of us think about artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotics, navigation, and augmented and mixed reality. But the potential of immersive virtual reality, otherwise known as learning in the metaverse, may be as disruptive as any of these other technologies when it comes to surgical education. Recently, Harvard Business Review in its newsletter, Working Knowledge, featured the work of professors Andy Wu and David Yofi. The title of this work was, How Long Before We Live in the Metaverse? Professors Wu and Yofi observed that generative AI has captured the collective imagination for the moment, eclipsing the once-hyped metaverse. The, they proposed that the metaverse may hold enormous value in certain areas of business, such as healthcare and construction. However, the biggest challenge ahead is to coordinate all the pieces of the ecosystem necessary for immersive virtual reality to scale. For the past six years, we've been working on the metaverse approach to surgical education, which replicates some of the advantages pilots have with flight simulation. Several of the problems which we believe can be solved by such an approach include the following. Reduced cost of surgical education, which currently is becoming unsustainable. Enhanced and efficient acquisition of surgical skills. And reduction of learning curves for surgical procedures with the result being enhanced quality of care and reduce, reducing potential errors for our patients. The following video entitled Global Orthopedic Surgical Education Without Borders presents our vision for improved surgical care for orthopedic patients. Moreover, this approach will allow for equity in education across borders and around the world, and it will reduce the cost of care. Industry partners may benefit by improved access to larger markets and potential reduction in customer acquisition costs. What you're about to see are two examples of surgeon interaction and education in the metaverse. So we should ask what if surgeons could work together in the same space without traveling? Today I'm joined in the operating room by my colleagues and uh, uh, from all different countries. So we have Florian and Carl from Switzerland and Ruth Delaney from Ireland. And then we've got Danny and John from Canada, from the western part of Canada, Vancouver. And then of course I'm in Boston. And we're, we're all together in a virtual operating room. Ruth, you're familiar with this, right? Yeah, a little bit, sure, yeah. So 135 degree angle and um, the saws in my left hand. So the green line you see here is aligned with where we wanted to go down the humeral shaft. And I can simply adjust version as I see fit with this. And so once this is set here and we have the same retractors that you talked about, Florin, um, then, and now I can make the cut. May I ask how much retroversion you are aiming for? Yeah, the, um, the retroversion, I, I, I personally choose whatever is the retroversion of the patient. It, it actually usually winds okay. up being between 20 and 30 degrees. So, Ruth, do you want to do this part? Sure. Uh, do we need here. to fist bump? Yep, there you go. So, okay. Ruth is now going to be the operator here. And you want to get the sizer with your other hand, Ruth, first. Okay. There we go. So the next step of the procedure, we're happy with our cut. We need to figure out the size. Um, and here we can tell this is going to be too small. We can cycle up through these sizes. And in this particular implant, we don't really want to be right up against the cortex of the metaphysis. So I would probably go with a three here. And so if I do something like this, I learn from error because, you know, I'll see uh, whether this is actually somewhere that I want to put the implant or not. Um, and the program is telling me guide pin is too shallow and unstable, so um, I haven't put it in far enough as well as maybe not putting it in a good position. So it's telling me to start again so I can redo this step. And then same thing, we're going to cycle through the sizes. I think that a three is probably what I would choose for this. Um, and then I'll see if I aim for more where I might like to put my implant in real life. Okay, so the system has pre-selected, since I did a three in the last, uh, uh, in the last step, 
Um, and this is what your uh, your scrub will do for your scrub tech. Your scrub nurse will have fitted the three to match the size. And so now I can slide this over my guide pin. And then it's telling me, like in real life, you should engage the reamer before you hit the bone surface. Mm -hmm. And I can nice. it reamed down. And then there's a hard stop. And then the system will tell me when I've hit that hard stop. So I've prepared my metathesis. Yeah, and then okay, uh, so I can rotate it where you want and and uh, sure, want lock it. the trigger. And then go yeah. ahead and insert the all. Okay. Okay. John, can and you see that I well? Use... Okay. I... Good. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, just bang with a hammer. Oh, that's good. Keep going. Oh, and I get it. Yeah, there you go. Now, one of the things that's interesting, Florian, stop right there before you take it out. Grab the inserter right. handle by pulling on the trigger with your right hand to detach. So take your right hand and there you go. And now you This next video demonstrates a short sequence of a metaverse surgery that I performed with a colleague in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, while I was in Boston. Technology which is not yet being used in uh, FAMR's facility. You can see the IM yes. guys and the saw. So this particular system allows you to use an intramedullary guide or an extramedullary guide. In this instance, we've only placed the intramedullary guide at your disposal here. So let me do this and then you can repeat this, Bammer. Yeah. So yeah. here's the intramedullary yeah. guide. It's set for 135 degree neck shaft angle. This particular system is an intramedullary system and it was designed to reduce the number of parts and pieces by having a fixed neck shaft angle. Okay. And so you see the green line there? I'm going to line this down where the green line is. And I can then rotate it in different directions to okay. get the level I want for version. So I don't I, cool. Why don't you try grabbing it just by squeezing with your uh, index finger? And then you can grab it at the top and then rotate. So there is. Oh, that's nice. Right? Okay, now take yeah, it nice. and bring it where you're going to make the cut and squeeze the trigger. And it'll make the cut. So you can see how we're making the cut exactly, and you know, push through, and the head will magically come off. And we're making a cut at just at the anatomical neck. And once you're completed, yep, there you nice. go. Nice. So now we have completed the cut. And just drop it back on the table. So that's Beautiful. the first part. You can take it out as you go and look and see how you make the cut. So, Thammer, pick up the reamer. Yep. And then what you want to do is uh, come and place the reamer. Over the guide pin. Okay, and then squeeze the trigger and advance it. And it has a stop. So this particular reamer reams the metaphysis and it has a stop because the stem is in metaphysis, not on metaphysis. Show everybody what, yeah, show the, uh, how we've reamed it. You'll see it's a sort of step cut reamer. So now, um, if I pick up the mallet and I pick up the inserter. Point I want to make here's my brooch. This this um, rod is for the retroversion, and I can align that like here, and it'll tell me you want to hit on this part of the inserter first. Yeah, get it aligned first, eh? Normally we hear the sound. We don't because of the way we're transmitting the sound now, and it tells me okay. I'm down. So Danny, you want to grab that and show everybody how it is? So obviously, Bammer, there's nothing projected above. This is an inset. What we've shown in this presentation is a glimpse into the future of surgical education. Immersive virtual reality in the metaverse will only improve as we identify many problems which we can eliminate with this technology in order to improve our patients' outcomes. No doubt the hardware and software will continue to improve as our industry partners realize the potential to improve care and expand their markets. The value proposition of surgeons and their staff are as follows. Education without borders, meaning lower cost of skill acquisition, virtual surgery, which allows practicing all the steps of a given surgery that one will do, be it the next day or the next week, virtual surgery that allows one to practice errors in the metaverse so as to avoid them in the operating room, skill acquisition that's faster and better compared to reading about a surgery or watching a video or even doing a cadaver study. The cost of education is reduced with the metaverse to approach of surgical education. And staff who assist in the operating room can practice the surgical procedure before they actually assist on the procedure in the real world. 
Finally, social interaction will improve as our avatars in the metaverse become more lifelike and we create more systematic approaches to care. From the standpoint of the value proposition of our industry partners, here are several possibilities. The first is lower customer acquisition cost if products can be viewed in the metaverse prior to bringing them and all the inventory associated with them to the operating room. The second is improved knowledge of the sales force that assists in spreading the word and the technique of these products. And the final one is access to larger global markets. Thank you for your interest and attention.